Hello everybody, Garrett from Tate and Yoko here. We've got a special Halloween episode for you today. We're down in the store and we're gonna start off with our pumpkin checks today. So uh, as you can see, I got my pumpkin here on my head and I am wearing some Beaumarche coveralls, uh, uh, some gauntlet style gloves, and down below I have my John Lofgren boots. I did, I, I will say, I did get pumpkins for everybody, including Vinny. He did not bring his pumpkin back. I got them all big pumpkins, but some people's pumpkins shrunk overnight magically. So let's go take a look at everybody else's pumpkins. <laughs> Terry, why don't you show us our pumpkin? Hey everybody, uh, Terry over here with my seasonal uh, orange uh, pumpkin drip. I'm going to show you off what I like to call pe some vintage modern classical this is my uh, world famous downtown country style pumpkin yes it may have shrunk a bit in the wash but that happened this one was unsand fried i hope you understand so i think you like i got a little bit of three-dimensional details over here unlike you know the australian edition pumpkin over there this one is the right way up i do like the little eye holes over here that implies a complexity along with the traditional mouth there which reminds us that we're all rooted in our pumpkin past so thank you very much oh lord almighty don't break me Alrighty, guys Who's i'll be next? next i got my pumpkin my pumpkin was also unsanforized it shrunk <laughs> in the wash but you know my pumpkin is pretty it's pretty classic it's pretty traditional nothing crazy i did have a little bit of help with this guy but i think he turned out really well i think he's pretty sick it's a good pumpkin. It's a good pumpkin this year. Okay, guys. Vincent here. Unlike these two, there's no insane fries. There's no excuses here. Garrett bought a pumpkin for me to carve. I filled the assignment. Although I only have a passing grade. <laughs> this is my boy here. We got the, um, I think, uh, this is a smile. We got two eyes. <laughs> A little uvula in there, and um, you got a little tooth notch. And if you can look a little closer, there was a line I was supposed to cut. Couldn't do it. Not gonna <laughs> sharp enough. But I tried my best. Look, it's empty. It's big. No excuses here. You could just hear it from the sound. <laughs> All right. So whatever pumpkin that you like the best, make sure you drop a comment down below. We want to hear who won the pumpkin carving test. Was it me with the amazing uh, pumpkin head man? Was it uh, one of these guys with their unsanforized <laughs> pumpkin excuses? Or was it the satisfactory pumpkin from Vincent? Dude, don't even lie. That's exactly what all of you guys would make, so just keep it real. Yeah, let us know down in the comments. And now we have Terry with the warehouse update for today. Okay, welcome back. So as usual, we here in the warehouse are working real hard to keep that denim train rolling on time and pumping out delicious denim 24 seven. Uh, so for this week, we got a couple of things coming up. For Friday, we have a brand new release. I'm gonna show you guys in just a little bit. This is the Raise by Wolves collab. It's another Canadian brand old buddies of us so we love working with these guys over here so we have a little bit of a raised by wolves x naked and famous denim collab over here that's coming out this friday bright and early at 11 a.m be ready for that uh also a little bit down the street next week after that we got some army hbt's with a brand new top coming out brand new never before seen first ever top here beautiful i promise you'll love it it's beautiful aside from that we are getting ready for the you know it's coming right after pumpkin season. It's gonna be Black Friday. I want you all to start thinking about Black Friday because I know, Lord knows, we're thinking about Black Friday right now. So get ready for the madness. Uh, that'll be coming very soon. And I want to say a big thank you for all of my special Word of the Week winners. Holy cow, you guys really outdid yourselves today. I'm really, really happy with the quality of literature that is coming in these comments. I have to, some of these are like pages long. Uh, I want to read all of them out there. But I'm just gonna read a couple here some winners, some real standout winners here. So of course, the word of the week last week was Chabanel. So Chabanel is actually the garment district here at uh, Naked Famous. So we, Tati Yoko, as well as Naked Famous Denim are located in Montreal in the garment district, which is also known as the Chabanel area. So a couple of you guys got it right, but a, f a couple of other people really struggled with this. So, I mean, uh, 
Jaden from New Jersey there, he had no idea what the word of the week went, looked it up, he spelled it S-H-A-B-A-N-E-L-L. -L. Good try, but not quite good enough. Um, also, we have a Matthew from BC. Uh, it is, correct, you got it right, is a street just around the corner from us, it is Montreal's Garment District. But he also points out it would make a great word to shout in frustration, Chavanel, I think he has something going on over there. And finally, for the special winner of this week, I want to thank Ethan from, looks like North Dakota, all right, here. It's a page long. I had to print it out, especially, so it's amazing effort there. So he actually goes on and on about the only Chabanel he knows is Noe Chabanel, which is like a Canadian martyr, uh, born in like, you know, 500 years ago, Society of Jesus, moved to France, Quebec. So this actually rings up here in Montreal. We have a gajillion streets and districts named after historic Catholic figures. It's just part of living here in Montreal. So a big thank you to Ethan from North Dakota. You'll get a very, very special prize in your order and everybody else who dropped a special comment in their order will get a very special little treat from us too. Sometimes a drawing, sometimes a poem, sometimes a big old smooch. Maybe from me, maybe from Vinny. Vinny likes to smooch the orders, so look out for it. <laughs> okay, and don't forget, stay tuned right to the very end of this video or I will hit you with this week's Word of the Week. Thank you very much. Back to... Justin. Justin. All right then, folks. So, today I'm going to be giving you our store update. We're going to start over at the end here. We've updated the store, we brought some new stuff in. We'd like to keep things fresh and exciting for people. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be there, I swear. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, okay, what was I saying? Yeah, we try to keep things new and exciting and fresh for people who come in the store. So one of the new things we did is because now we have Wonder Looper on the website, we have Wonder Looper in the store. We have these 701 GSM nets in gray, we have them in green, we have them in sumi black, we have them in fox fiber oatmeal, we have them in fox fiber charcoal, all fantastic. They're fantastic sweaters, they're amazing, we love them, and like these things are, this is a heavy sweater. This thing is a the heavy. Really, it is the like it is the heaviest sweater. It is the heaviest. And they're, they're restocked on the website now, so head over to tatenyoko.com. We got more Wonder Looper stock. We got more Wonder Looper stock. Every size, you would need. Now, as well, on the other side of the store. Actually, before we get there, we also have restocked Yucatan caps. They're amazing. We love them here. A lot of our team members have them. They fit to you. They mold to your head just amazingly. They're beautiful. Vincent's wearing his today. No mold to any head. Yeah, yeah, mold I, to bought, any. I bought it like at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> he so wanted it. He we wanted just it got fast. it. We just got it. So yeah. As well, we have new upstate stock beanies. And like I said, always this is just such a small percentage of the actual colors we have. We have so many more than this in rag wool, Let's take in a look. recycled what cotton. Yeah. Yeah. We got sunflower. We got. I'm not sure this colors. We got the navy. What's it say? What's it say? What does it say? Actually, yeah. Um, Orchard. We got navy, black, black. black for sure. Um, we have seafoam. I know we have at least like four or five different colors of blue. So yeah. if you like blue, we have probably the color that you're looking for. Cherry blossom. Ooh, I really crew. like cherry blossom. Yeah. Cherry and this blossom. is actually only a small fraction of what we have. We have a lot more of these upstairs in the warehouse. Uh, most of these, except for this one, are all cotton. But we have the wool ones as the well. Brand, yeah. I'm a big fan of wool. We are actually speaking of watch caps. Uh, we are getting in more of the in situ, we're sold out, uh, but we do have more uh, that just arrived, so they're going to be on the website shortly. So head over to the website in the next few days and uh, grab your in situ watch cap because they are the best. What else we got? We also have new Chamula stock. So Chamula is manufactured in, in Chamula in Nepal, and they're all <laughs> manufactured, they're all knit by hand by artisans that have been knitting forever and they Correction, it's in Mexico. Is it in Mexico? It's in Mexico. It is in Mexico. He said Nepal. It, Keep it in there. It is, <laughs> a, it, it is in Mexico actually. It's in Mexico and all their wool garments are made from sheep who graze in the fields nearby. So everything is super, everything's made right there and harvested and collected and created all right there. Yeah, so it's made by they knit, uh, so yeah, them in Mexico. Mexico. they knit them in Mexico. We have socks, we have hats, we have a bunch of hats. We love the hats. Tristan is getting a hat if you know Tristan. Tristan's he already, in the he already got this one. Too. He already got the blue one. He loves it. And he if you look on the inside, you can see um, 
the details and the name of the person that it was knit by. Mm -hmm. so, that's actually really cool. That's pretty cool. We got some fantastic colorways for the knits. socks, for the hats. Yeah. Go check them out. We Super got a lot. They're awesome. They're so cozy. Look at them. They're so chunky and like squishy. I just want them all. And they make really good gifts too. They do. So if you're thinking about, you know, Christmas time is coming up. We got candles. We got socks. We got uh, the the toques. We got every we have kind of gift we want. The mugs coming, coming shortly. Soon. Yes. I don't know if we tease those yet, but here's a little teaser. The mugs are They're coming kind of soon. Right. We yeah, have I a can show them new mug right now. Out. We can show them the old mugs. Yeah, but uh, we got new mugs. Right. So. Yeah, there's a new mug and a new low cool as well. And speaking of new, new, what do we have coming this Friday, Terry? We have a going back to lovely Rays by Wolves collaboration. Come on over here, Vinny. Let's take your time, get these in focus over here. I want to show you this special little check me up over here. So we have a brand new pair of jeans. It's a collab of Rays by Wolf. So this is uh, something that we've done together. This is a fantastic pair of jeans there. Look at that magnificent there. We have a very special tag on the inside over here. Just lets you know the collab. And they are a particular vulgar edition. So a lot of the Rays by Wolves have a couple of their, uh, let's, just, let's just say catchphrases. And this one also has a catchphrase as well, right here on the coin pocket, which of course is the selvage. And you'll see that repeated all up and down the selvage on the inside. Nothing personal, that's just how they are. You can flip up the cup to flip them off. You can flip up the cuff to flip them off. So yeah, they're that's raised the, by wolves. That's the slogan. Can we flip up the camera? <laughs> I will not flip up the camera. I love the fans. I love all of you guys out there. I have nothing but, lo nothing but love. But, you know, if you want to have a stealthy, like, kind of a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, A, B type of gentleman, that's a good choice. You want some jeans also, you get a special cool you. custom patch over here. We do have what appears to be a wolf and a lovely figure. I cannot place this figure, but I can definitely place the wolf over here. So this one's a great. So we're going to get these in true guy, weird guy. Super guy, easy Super guy. Super guy, easy guy. I think we're going to get the full fits. spread. All the, all the fits. All as the fits well easy. as the chore coat. You do have the chore coat. So if you want to go full denim tuxedo, full raised by wolves tuxedo, you can with a nice chore coat. These are um, size a little bit big. So if you're going to pick one up, just note that they, uh, they do run big. And if you want a fitted look, then maybe size down. But always check the size chart. So. Yes, check the size chart. We guarantee it to be accurate. Well, Guarantee, guarantee the size chart to be accurate for your satisfaction. These chore coats are a lot of fun. They have a lot, couple other details. My personal favorite detail, I don't know if you can get this on, but it is triple stitched over here. So yeah, maybe just let see if they can get that in focus or not, I don't know. But it does have lovely triple get stitching. And that's a neat feature that some of the other jackets don't have. That'll set your chore coat apart. This Friday, 11 a.m., be there. For the Raised by Wolf Naked and Famous collab. Yeah. Fire. Excellent. Excellent. So what do we have over next here? We have a spe very special presentation. I want to show you guys off. I'm not too sure if you've seen it in the corner of the screen. But let's follow Mr. Garrett over here to okay. a future event. So when I was thinking about doing this video, I was trying to think, you know, what is, what do I think about when I think of Halloween? What I think about, um, about this season? And I thought, you know what I do love about this time of year is pumpkin pie. And so I thought it'd be great to do a pumpkin pie eating competition. Unfortunately, the, the store did not have enough pumpkin pies. So I also got some apple pie. So we're gonna have myself, Terry, Vinny, and Vincent. We're all gonna chow down on one quarter of pumpkin pie and one quarter of apple pie. It's gonna be a race so to see nice. who can finish the fastest. Whoever wins, wins nothing but glory. I have a question. Okay. Yes. Does anyone know the Heimlich maneuver? Yeah, I was gonna say that's the one rule. The one rule, well, two rules. Don't die. No making a mess, and two, no choking. No, okay, right. Choking <laughs> is strictly prohibited. I chose to choke today. <laughs> like today, I wanted yeah, yeah, yeah. to put my life in, in jeopardy for some pie. Yeah. Excellent. To the victor, the spoils. Yes. That's what I have to say. Around. That's what I'm nice. Right. This guy's getting ready. <laughs> I'm serious. serious. Dude, I'm fucking winning. <laughs> <laughs> all right. To win it. Give right, the camera over. Ready. All right, all right. Take hold your on, spot, Vinny. I got it. I got it. Oh, shit. First of all, <clears> belt <throat> unbuckled, okay? Let's get serious. <laughs> Do a little unzip. A little mm. unzip. 
Oh, I gotta geez. do this in character. I can't lose my uh, Halloween drip here. I'm squad. Yo, you should turn your brim around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> go, boys. All right. Um, okay. I guess you gotta, you gotta count. This I now. do. I'm waiting for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right, it'll be, it'll be the on giant, your mark. Giant stopwatch on the bottom of the screen. I'm ready? This shit up. Set. Go. Here. Oh shit. Ah, crumbled. I'm gonna get some of that. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm making good progress here. Look at these guys. Look at them go. <laughs> My stomach hurts. I'm getting. How do you feel, Vincent? I feel great. Yeah, Terry, how do you feel? I really like the delicate cinnamon notes here I'm getting here. It kind of reminds me of the season of fall. Yeah, you keep talking. Stuff. How about you, Vinny? Mmm. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Who do you guys think is winning? It's anyone's game, actually. No, this is actually, no. So Vince much is, harder Vince than is it looks. Doing pretty good. It's just fucked. I'd never do this as a dog. <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts. I got my money on Vincent. <laughs> Garrett's really enjoying the, uh, the cream. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. <laughs> I like choke twice. Vincent, Evelyn, you're making some good progress here. Mm. Oh, I'm fucking sick. I fucking hate pumpkin pie. It's terrible. This will be Vincent's last time eating pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. mm. Pumpkin pie, best pie. Yeah, pie. now we're talking. There we go. It's about that lubrication. <laughs> Oh. oh. It's neck and neck. Vincent and Garrett. It's anyone's game yeah. right now. Oh, I'm sorry. It's real. Mm. 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 Leave your votes in win. the comments. Don't lose Who that. you think is going to win <laughs> before we find out. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Is it Vincent or is it Garrett? Get some close up action. Let's get some close yeah, let's get some close up. Let's see how we're doing here. How are we doing for the pie? We're doing pretty good. We're looking good. How about you, Vinny? Vinny, yeah, he's yeah, there we go. We're going crazy with the whip. Oh, I already ate. He's done. <laughs> and mm. Vincent, how are we doing? We're Oh, well, I'm having fun. You gotta pick it up. We gotta pick up the pace. Garrett's Don't right behind you. Shut up, man. <laughs> Trouble. Look at this guy. He's going. I didn't eat lunch. The wizard, <laughs> the wizard, the wizard has been fasting. I'm gonna get the mistake of eating lunch. Yeah, Fuck. he. There we go. I saw this man <clears throat> before we filmed eat a quarter pound of fries and a chicken chow mein. And two Why spring rolls, right? Rookie mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Vincent is really getting close. He's coming from behind. Come on, oh, Vincent. Oh, Vincent's picking up the face. <laughs> He's following at the mouth right now. <laughs> Look at this. Are you getting this, folks? <laughs> Can he keep it down though? Can he keep it down? <laughs> yeah, it's almost there. Vinny's almost, he's still working on it. Oh wow. I'm just enjoying my dessert. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's a leisure. It's a leisurely stroll for Vincent. For Vinny. I'm How are we feeling, I'm going for podium finish. <laughs> I'm in fucking vomit. I'm in vomit for real. Kick the pumpkin. I think Garrett wins. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I think you won. I need to wash it down. I think you won, bro. Oh. I, I think you won by like, like a, maybe a second. Yeah. 100%? When you guys leave the building, I'm probably gonna vomit. <laughs> It's gonna be like the pizza incident all over again. Oh man, not the pizza incident. <laughs> that was a fun time. You're supposed to have been refused. Put it upside down, now you're just wasting gas. All right, well there you have it. There and, uh, you have it. Vincent's the winner. Regrettably, I'm supposed to eat a hot pot in four Although, hours. Although, <laughs> to be honest, look at this. Look at how much pie is on. 
Don't no, don't get on technicalities That's like a couple. Now. That's a couple seconds of penalty, right? You guys are now, look how much pie <laughs> I spilled. Minimal. There's like three pieces. Come on. You know what I like to call this? Sore losing. That's what it is. All right. I'm gonna put this one in the comments. In the comments. Who do you think won? We need the tiebreaker judge. I think Vinny won. Honestly, eating a quarter pounder of chicken chow mein, some egg rolls, and a pe uh, pumpkin pie, and the fries. <laughs> what, size, what size were the fries? They were like medium because large was unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't How sell was large more. unavailable. I don't know. I mean, On the app, was like unavailable. <laughs> there we go. What an effort. This is actually my very first time having a pie eating contest or a food eating contest. It looked pretty um, level and correct to me. It was a fun. And I sh sh I was gonna sh yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna shake the hand. The shake hand. The head. Good game. Good game, everybody. Good game. <laughs> so my right hand dirty. <laughs> oh man. You <laughs> cut my hand dirty. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> There's pumpkin pie on there. Dessert anyone? <laughs> no, that's a rude hand. Alright. Uh, so Terry, send this, us off with your uh, So this brings me to my uh, very yeah. special word of the week. So a huge thank you to everyone who watched the whole thing stayed right to the end. <laughs> The word for <laughs> of the week for next week that you have to put in the order comments of your order is gavage. That's right, it is gavage. So put that word in there, you will get it. Thank you very much. Happy Halloween. We'll see you next week. Au revoir. Bye. -bye. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. <laughs> you don't feel too good, Mr. Stark. Yeah, that's right. I feel like I'm gonna disintegrate. <laughs>